Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Srini. In this video, we're gonna deal with pipes. Before we jump into our topic, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. So what are pipes? Whenever we start out to build a new web application, we often deal with simple data transformation, which we render them in template and display those data to users. This is as simple as creating a field in a class and pushing those values to a template, but they rarely makes a good user experience. In my, in my personal opinion. What if, if you have a da data that needs to be transformed, such as, let's say you have a text field designated as a currency, and while you type in your numbers, it should transform those values into a readable text. So if I enter 1000 as numerals, it should read it as 1000 as words. Well, Angular has a solution for it. They are called Angular pipes that helps to display value transformations that you can declare them in your HTML templates. Okay, so let's go ahead and start using our pipes. Let's look at our example in Stack Blitz to know more about pipes. I included this code sample in the video description below for your reference. All right, in the app component TS, let's have a field in our class called blog post. I'm gonna get rid of this field. So it'll be blog post, which will be an array. Uh, thing is, I already have objects of uh, array, so that could be. Uh, it's a simple blog post, um, simple pattern like it'll having it'll be having a key value pair such as title, posted with a date and author. It's not nothing major in it, so it's just a field in a class called blog post. And um, as I said, it'll have three properties. So back in our component HTML, I'm gonna get rid of this and we will be having a container to display that field. So div class container, and we're gonna iterate over our container. So, sorry, iterate over our blog post. So it will be looking like we will be having ul with li, and then let me format this code a bit. And in the li, we'll be having a for loop, which will be ng4, which is a structural directive. And that leads to let blog of blog post so instantly you will see in my live coding the number of blocks that's shown up here and then let's have let me have h2 tag and an interpolation to show up our title so blog dot title brilliant so next thing is small of i'm gonna have the post date so that's posted and Close the tag. Again, we're gonna add one more tag. I'm gonna format this, bring it to next line. So it's small and created by, obviously that's the author of the blog. So blog.author and then let me close the tag. So far, not really good, I missed it. Okay, safe to say so far so good. Now. I'm going to use, this is all about using pipe. So using a pipe is fairly easy. In our interpolation, all we have to do is we can use this symbol called um, pipe, right? A pipe symbol that you see here. And then name of our pipe. So right now it's throwing up an error. I'm going to just get rid of it. Say for example, uh, if you want to turn this um, title into uppercase, so all you need to do is just pipe it as pipe and uppercase. So instantly your title will be turned into uppercases. And then same way for the blog posted for date. Okay, so if you're gonna give date, it'll it'll spit out the humans human friendly date you can see here. And you have further more information that you can extend and reformat the dates that of your wish. Okay. Basically, our interpolation will flow the components field blog.posted to the pipe and to the date pipe function on the right to a more human friendly format. That's the one that you see here. Okay, this is pretty much how all pipes works. Okay, so we have done the basic pipe work. Now, next move on to built in pipes. Just like we have used pipes for uppercases and date, there are a few more pipes built inside Angular for us to use. They are you can go through Angular implementation to get further information for specific pipes, um, such as you have async pipe, decimal, and currency. You know, 
if you click through that for example if you click through the date pipe you will get uh, further information about the usage so you can go on and give the short medium and long you now whatever format that suits you and even you can tune fine tune or refine your uh, pipes like this now the next thing next thing is parameterizing a pipe see just like any other functions in a class that accepts an argument even pipes will accept argument and a pipe will accept any number of optional parameters to refine its output adding a parameter to a pipe is like just give it a colon and then um, you can give a parameter like uh, for the date which you have seen here you can give it as medium short or so let's just give medium so our date will be in this format it's reformatted now how about we can give it as um, like we have seen here we can give it as um, let's say month month date day and year so it will be like mm dd y y y y so oh no it's the lowercase yes so you can format your uh, date as such um, using a parameter using, for passing a parameter to the date pipe and um, you can also do um, you can also bind the format using a field in a class so right now you're just giving a static string and then the pipe um, uh, manipulates it for you so what if I am attaching a, a field in a class called date format and then extend that into a date format field giving it a uh, parameter over there so let's see um, let's just give it as medium so instantly you will notice yes so you can use parameters you can use a components field and then pass that onto a template as a, uh, a binding the component field into a pipe parameter so that way you can parameterize your pipe okay this is all about now we have seen the built-in uh, pipes and then using the pipe as well as parameterizing a pipe like built-in pipes you can write your very own custom pipes that may be needed in part of your application i was doing a simple emi calculator that dealt with currency as an input so basically i want i will input my value as one two three four five six seven and my custom pipe should transform them into twelve lakh thirty four thousand five hundred and sixty seven rupees okay so let's begin you can use angular's built-in cli generators to create a pipe so my custom pipe is named as currency to text pipe so what i'm going to do is uh, you can very well in your if you if you're in your local development machine you can go ahead and do ng generate pipe and then give your pipe name but in stack blitz you have a generator built in so i'm going to go ahead and give it as pipe currency to text currency to text okay right stack blitz, stack blitz has created our pipe here um, let's analyze our custom pipe class that looks quite exciting though number one piece of information that you will notice is a pipe is a class file decorated with a pipe metadata and it implements the pipe transformation over here pipe transform uh, that's an interface uh, and that returns a transform method that you see here um, right now the angular cli generated this for us automatically and the pipe and pipe transform is available in angular co now when you when you use generators to uh, generate a pipe your angular application will be automatically filled with the import statements of your newly created pipe so you don't have to if if you create your, if you create a pipe class file manually you should not forget to add this in your import statement here okay and the other bit of information is um, it will return a value so you, all you need to do is manipulate all your information here and then return those values to be transformed and to be shown up here okay the pipe decorator function uh, the metadata that you see here is uh, has a name uh, property that has a currency to text okay this is the one that we'll be using in our template right to begin with I'm going to go to app modules to see if the forms module is already imported so it's already imported because we're going to deal with a bit of form here just just a just one form that's it and then mm, yes so what we're going to have is I'm going to have input 
type as text and then let me have an input um, template variable for our form that could be currency right so I think that's pretty much enough for now right we have our very own form uh, please don't uh, mind about the styling of our elements because all we are all you're doing here is just dealing only with the logic of how the pipe works and how the custom pipe works so please don't mind about that styling we can do that anytime uh, during our application development so if you're going to implement bootstrap just add the class over here and then your elements will be styled properly okay let's open up our paragraph tag and then in here we are gonna have our what to say currency currency input let's just have currency input and this will be currency okay so far so good so what we'll have is in our component we will get rid of this and then we will have a currency here private I'm not sure whether I'm going to need this and then that's going to be a number I'm not sure if by default it should be zero in here let's go ahead and add a change event so that should be key up event and then dot enter let's just try out with that on change currency input let me copy that this is a template variable and we are passing our template variable into our on change method which will we will be defining it into into our component typescript file uh, please do note here here uh, we have a hash that's uh, declared as a template variable while passing it we, we're not going to use the hash here that's how the standard in angular works okay so let me go ahead and create a on change method so the on change method will have the value that we are going to pass so we're going to hold that value that could be number and set that to this dot currency right to the value now we made a big mistake somewhere in our line we forgot to add our close our quotes now that's that looks fine so one two three four okay so enter we have an issue because we didn't pass it as a value in the first place okay so one two three four now you have the value here. that's brilliant okay so let's let's come back to our pipe now in here I'm gonna call the pipe method so the name of our pipe is current currency to text so currency to text and let's open up our console as well parallelly now I already have the value transformation for our pipe okay so what I'm going to do is the transform the transform method will take in the value of our pipe so the the value is primarily the one that you are set here okay so it could be any so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a number because that's the input value that will be used by our pipe and then arguments okay so I'm gonna have arguments called only as boolean and currency type as a string okay so initially what we will do is we will console everything to see we are catching up and then boolean oh it's only and then currency type right so if you're going to parameterize our pipe we have to use extra params in the transform method to accept those parameters so that could be um, only is true so you get the value as zero and only as so let's try something here we have our value as one two three that we have typed in here and then the true and same for um, currency type so it could be dollar or rupee so just say rs 
bingo we have it so one two three four you have all the parameters we parameterized it and we are receiving it in our pipe transform method now we're going to make use of this and uh, create our pipe fully built pipe okay so i already have a method to convert our numbers currency numbers into uh, text um, just gonna copy paste everything here so that uh, it's kind of a crude implementation but the logic will be available in the stack blitz uh, link that i'll be sharing in the video description anyway so this is kind of a very very crude implementation of converting your number to text so let's not worry about that details we're just worried mostly about the implementation details so right now we have a text field and here we have rupee right so we're going to change that to currency type okay and then we're going to have okay are we going to have uh, looks something fishy it's not working okay so one two three four five looks working so let's change it to rupees rupees right now the next bit is what are we gonna have only okay so that will be only ternary operator so if you only is true then show only else show nothing now one two three four five six rupees only let's go ahead and change this to false let's see our implementation yeah the only is gone because it's false okay and then we also implemented if the value is not is undefined we are going to return null and if the value is present if the, if there is any value in there we're going to send it to convert number wherein it will do a conversion okay this is majorly based on the indian rupee system where you will be counting the currency as 1000 10 lakhs for 1 million and um, going forward it will be lakhs and crores not millions and billions so i've been doing this work for some emi calculator so i found this quite interesting so that i'm sharing it you can use pipes in your input field and then use the pipes create a custom pipe to gen to convert to value transform the currency into a text okay so so far we have covered this is pretty much about pipes that we can generally use in angular and so far we've used uh, we have used built-in pipes and created our custom pipes and there are more advanced concepts of pipes such as pure versus impure pipes and change direction in pipes which we did not cover in this tutorial which is far more advanced for for this uh, for an overview like like this tutorial okay so thanks for watching and please subscribe and like my video and if you have any suggestions about my video please do drop down in the comment section thank you so much